Hello, hello, this is Antique Alicia, and I'm the CEO and founder of Your Own University, and this is a glimpse into my own university. How to do this process each and every day is right below us here, and um, today, I went to sleep last night really um, in a frame of blessing, so I did um, some prayer, a lot of prayer, I'm getting tired, oh, I'm trying to avoid artwork. Um, I'm, I did some prayer and just praying for those who are stuck in survival, who are stuck in abuse, who are stuck feeling unworthy, who are stuck not knowing how to celebrate and love life, who are, don't even know how to do that because they weren't raised, raised with the permission to give themselves full joy. It, joy wasn't safe for them. It's crazy when you're raised in an area that you don't, um, that you're not loved, you're not surrounded by that, and then all of a sudden you bust a move and and you're stuck in that for a long time because that's your normal. And I'm really praying that they get really uncomfortable <laughs> and learn how to have fun and learn how to enjoy and learn how to love. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow's event. It's been a dream of mine. For 30 years. It's been a vision and a dream. Um, we're really close to reaching our financial goal to be able to help and um, do more. Uh, everything that we raise tomorrow will go towards that as well for others. Um, and I'm really excited for me. I'm lonely tonight. I don't have anybody to really share this moment with and um, my kids aren't here and not many people really understand the years and the dedication and my own crap that I've had to dig through and bust through and, and overcome in order to be able to even birth this. Um, and I wish that there were. I'm missing that. I, I'm missing that team of support, the community of support. And at the same time, like I feel it, I got that community of support um, from around the world yesterday financially and, and believing in me and notes and everything. So there's another part of me that thinks, well, I'm just here alone tonight having to do artwork because I don't like craftsy things. And I'm sorry to all of my really good friends who love to do craftsy things, but you know this about me already, which is why I love you. <laughs> because I can't do it. Uh, it's not that I can't. I just, it, I, I'm really admitting tonight, this part of me that's been fighting not liking crafts. Because um, I really thought that I need to, I should, I respect it. Um, but I, I don't, I just don't. Anyway. I'm going to do all of this with as much love as I can muster and move on. But what's coming up for me today and what's come up for me is the continuation of owning your own worth. That's come up a couple times today with a few people. Also, um, that we usually don't do things that we're not comfortable with. And how, you know, that saying that says, you know, life begins outside of your comfort zone. It's true. So this whole thing, I'm, it's a big deal and I'm a little uncomfortable. Not really. I'm going to sleep because it's not late. I'm going to sleep right now because I'm trying, my body is like trying to talk me into pampering myself and stuff. I'm sorry, I keep looking at this junk on the floor. It's beautiful stuff, I mean, but it's just like, it's all the stuff I have to do artwork with. There's more over there. And, um, it's real. This are all, I don't script these. I think about them, I process them, but I do not script them. Um, but this is all really outside of my comfort zone. And there is a lot more people to be responsible for and take care of and make sure that are appreciated 
Um, there was a lot more people on my team, seen or unseen. There's vendors, there's volunteers, there's people that have gifted their, their items for us to sell on a balloon pop and give away. There's the whole house. There's the people that help put on the event. There's three amazing men that just help me like literally get the bands. There's the bands. There's the sound guy. There's everybody. And it's so important for me to make sure that they know that they're appreciated, that they're loved. And at the same time, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I've never done this really before. Wow, what am I doing? I mean, you've dreamt about it forever, but I haven't like done it, done it. So this is a big step for me. And I would love to be around a team and like sharing it and then like picking me up and cheering me on um, or a mate or somebody that really understood everything the last 20 years and the school and the trial and the errors and you know the progression of my companies and and how this all works and how everything flows together and and the whole vision and how this is a critical moment in time for me um, no matter what happens with it this is a critical moment in time for me and then there's also the flip side of that which is I have all these people helping me and all of these people showed up and and you know please son come out tomorrow <laughs> and and I've gone to touch lives and people are behind me and we've gotten financial support and things miracles are happening and and you supplies are showing up and and all of that, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, and I'm so like, ah, this is so cool. And then I'm like sitting in my house alone, getting to bask in this moment. So what I'm gonna do is what I do, and what I would tell any of my clients to do is I'm going to journal. I'm gonna rewrite that living vision one more time for tomorrow. I'm going to pray, I'm gonna meditate. I'm going to do these arts and crafts and get that done. And um, I'm going to walk my talk. <laughs> now I'm pretending like you've been my best friend forever. Don't you love it? Anyway, I'm really excited. Um, I hope your day tomorrow is blessed. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Nurture yourself. Nurture all six of your power zones. If you don't know what your power zones are or which one you need to focus on next to make your biggest leap and impact in your life, go ahead and check out AntiqueAlicia.com and go and take our quiz. It's just like four or five questions. Super easy and it's super clear. I'm really digging it. And I'm going to get these things done because I asked to have a wake-up call at 6 a.m. so I can meditate and pray and work out and get myself in order before tomorrow. Mm. Anyway, love you. Bye.